you're attracting a lower conscious individual, it's because that's where your conscious is at. Peace and blessings. This is Derek Raku Moore. And I um, wanted to make a little short video uh, regarding spiritual wolves. <laughs> okay. Um, part of the reason for making this video is mainly because a couple, well, last week I made a couple of videos. And um, let's see, it was, there was one video that I was in, in case you haven't watched them. There was a video in regards or in response to what Dr. Umar said. And there was a video that followed after it that was um regarding uh the metaphysics of masculinity okay and like i said put those videos out there and everything and the thing that i found interesting was that you know the, the responses you know the responses i received back there were a lot of a lot of messages a lot of emails and everything that came to me from you know from sisters from brothers as well about you know how they agreed you know some of them you know hey I disagreed hey you know so be it um, but what I found interesting about most of these messages that came back was there, there was a lot of people who kept saying a lot of fam that kept saying uh, how they got into the trap you know that's the best way I can put it how they fell into the trap there was you know uh, few sisters you know quite a few sisters was like yeah you know I was talking to the brother brother was going ahead was you know brother was this that and the other but they started talking this stuff about spirituality they started talking this stuff about the comedic thing or, or or whatever you know and next thing you know there it is and then but it didn't last long okay it didn't go anywhere after that and they basically you know it fell into the trap, <laughs> you know. Here it is. They have kid, or, or or whatever. I don't want to call it a trap, but you know, you get what I'm saying. But they they had a kid there and everything, and they're not married. Okay. There was sisters who was also going ahead, and I'm sorry, there was brothers who was going ahead saying the same thing. Well, you know, I was vibing with this lady, you know, the sister, blah 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 blah, you know, and she she was she said she was spiritual and this this and this and this and then next thing you know well now she's a baby mama you know and um like i said i'm i don't i'm not calling it a trap i'm using the term that somebody else went ahead and they used uh from one of the messages i received but basically that's how they looked at it they looked at it as being a trap so <clears throat> Excuse me. First of all, like I said, I don't want to really go ahead and refer to it as being a trap because we look at it from a spiritual perspective and from a spiritual or a higher or metaphysical perspective, even children who are born out of wedlock, they have a reason. There's a purpose of them being born. OK, there's a purpose of them coming into, you know, coming into this this physical plane. So that's why I really don't want to go ahead and want to put any negative connotations to it. However, there are certain things that we can go ahead, we can control. And this is what brings me to this video. As I've mentioned in previous videos, spirituality is a, it's a popular topic, okay? It, it's, it's a hot topic, all right? You can go anywhere and everybody is talking about how they're, you know, they're trying to go, they're, they're trying to be spiritual. They want to be spiritual and they're doing all, all these things to be spiritual. All right. Um, the other thing, comedic spirituality, that's a hot topic. And, I've, you know, we've talked about this before. Ancestors, ancestors and spirit guides. It's a hot topic. And I find it interesting, and I've, I've mentioned this, like I said, in previous videos, but I, I find it interesting how you all of a sudden, 10, 20 years ago, you couldn't find any of these individuals. 10, 20 years ago, 
you, you didn't see these individuals. You didn't see these people uh, in any of the um, lectures or, you know, retreats or any of You didn't see any of these individuals here. But now all of a sudden, everybody's an expert. Okay? Now all of a sudden, everybody is a, is a they're, they're a, you know, like I said, they've been practicing, you know, they've been honoring their ancestors for 40, 50 years. All of a sudden. Okay? They've been working, doing kinetic spirituality for all this time. They've been, and, and you're, you're, you're sitting up here and it's like, then where were you back in the day? You know? There's, you, you don't have any history. You don't have any track record or anything. Now, this is not to say I'm not trying to, you know, throw any shade on anyone and say that there aren't any individuals who are not genuine. Okay. Um, not by, not by far, not by any means. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is basically highlight the fact that everybody who claims to be this, everybody who claims to be about that life is not about that life. Okay, everybody who claims to be spiritual is not spiritual. Everybody who claims to be conscious is not really conscious. And that's what the video regarding Dr. Umar and, and you know, that's what that was about. Okay. We live in an information age, people. And because of us living in this information age, anybody can get access to any of the books any of the any resource anybody can go in here and they can get it all they have to do is memorize it okay anybody can get it, any of these things all right they can get any of these these books and you know like i said all these resources and memorize it so it's real easy for anyone to come and say the right thing they can say, oh, okay, yeah, I'm about this, and I'm about, you know, I've done this, and, and I've read this. and But most people, they won't tell you they read it. They'll always go back and they'll refer to the fact that, oh, this is where they got it from, okay? They might even say, they might not even say that. But for the most part, that's what they're talking about, you know? And, and, and they, they read something from XYZ, from this book or whatever the case is, and now they're quoting it. But they're quoting it as if it's true. And that's not what spirituality is about. To understand what spirituality is, you have to understand spirituality basically deals with your conditionings. Now, what are conditionings? Conditionings are basically your programs. Everybody has a program. We have some good programs. We have some not so good programs. You going in here and brushing your teeth every morning. Um, you know, brushing your teeth every morning, going ahead and drinking a glass of water, whatever, whatever ritual you follow, that's considered a program. All right. That's a program. That is something you went ahead and either someone told you how to do this, someone taught you to do this, or you learn how to do this, whatever the case may be, is something that you do. Okay. That's a program. That's a conditioning. Okay in the spiritual sense when I'm the way we're using it so that's conditioning okay and like I said it doesn't cause any problem that's not causing any problem by you going ahead and you know brushing your teeth and all that kind of stuff that's that's not a problem but there are some programs that we have some conditionings that we have that are not so good they're not so positive all right uh, for instance you're going ahead and you start noticing and this is how you notice or you, you you realize that the program or the condition conditioning is how it's causing a problem when you start seeing a negative result of something and it comes back to a conditioning it comes back to your program that's when it's time to look at it and reevaluate okay so for instance let's say you go ahead and you know using that same example of brushing your teeth let's say all of a sudden you go in here and you're brushing your teeth and you start noticing that your you know your teeth they're they're your your gums and, and everything they're hurting or something okay or every time you you brush your teeth you're you're finding something some kind of abnormality that is going on with you brushing your teeth okay or any of that kind of stuff it could be this is what causes you to say okay what causes you to ask the question could it be the toothpaste 
Is there fluoride in the toothpaste? Do I need to use more healthy toothpaste or, 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 more, or more holistic type of toothpaste? You know, uh, is it the food that I'm eating? Okay, that's cause that might be causing this problem because maybe it's an abscess or something, or maybe it's some cavities or so. Oh, maybe I'm eating too much sweets or whatever. This is what goes ahead and it starts bringing up. It starts bringing up the 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 issue, and when you start seeing, oh, okay, I have this issue, I have this problem that's going on, and it might be related to this. This is where the conditioning or the program comes in and where you have to go back and evaluate it and change it. Because now you find yourself, if you're in the habit of going ahead and doing the same thing, and then all of a sudden you see there is a problem, then it's like, okay, now we got to go ahead and we have to change this. We got we to gotta change the way we do things. And as soon as you go ahead and you get ready to start changing, that's when you run into the conditioning. You run into the program, okay? Because you've been programmed to do things a certain way, all right? You've programmed, either you program yourself or most likely it was your parents, your guardian that programmed you to do things a certain way. And now you see there's an issue, so now you got to change it. And that's where spirituality comes into, or comes into play, all right? Because now you got to look at it because now you're fighting against the old program that's what you're that's what the whole thing of spirituality deals with that's the reason why for the most part you're you're meditating and everything you're trying to meditate because you have to program your subconscious or your lower spirit you're trying to program it or give it a different type of program to follow in order for it to improve your life or to bring about balance that's what spirituality is about, okay? And if you look at anything going on in your life, anything that you do not like, that you do not find desirable, this is where the spirituality comes into play, okay? And I, 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 a lot of people, you'll hear a lot of people talk about, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from this subject, but you hear a lot of people talk about the whole thing regarding relationships and the reason why they're having so many problems with relationships and, you know, it's this person's fault and that person's fault and all that kind of stuff. And I've tried to stay away from it mainly because from a spiritual perspective and metaphysical perspective, okay, we attract what we put out. So... If you're attracting lower, I don't want to call them lower life forms, but if you're attracting a lower conscious individual, it's because that's where your conscious is at. Okay? If, if you go ahead and you put that energy out there, this is the type of energy you're going to receive. All right? It, this is what my aunt deals with. So... When you look at this from, when you understand that, and you say, hmm, I want to go in here and I want to get someone that's a little bit, I want to get someone that's of a higher level, a higher caliber. I want to, I want to, I want to date someone. I want to marry someone or whatever the case may be, someone of a higher caliber. You're putting out a different vibe, okay? But understand, if you've been condition and you've been acting and behaving you know uh for lack of a better word ratchet for a while okay if you've been acting that way for a while just you going here saying okay well i'm not going to do this anymore it doesn't just happen overnight you you you, you got to go through a whole process of actually changing your behavior changing your beliefs changing the way in which you see things you got to go through the whole deal of changing all that. And this is where spirituality comes into play. Okay. Because now there's a lot of people who say, okay, it can't be done. No, it can be done. But it's under, but you got to understand you got to, it, it's a commitment. Okay. You got to be committed to that change. All right. And like I said, this is where spirituality comes into play. 
this is why this is when you go in here and you say okay um, you use spirituality you use the, the meditations you use prayer or whatever the case may be okay um, there is no easy fix all right so why am I saying all this the reason why I'm saying this is because when an individual tells you that they've been spiritual or they're into being spiritual and all this other kind of stuff uh, if you're not if you're not dealing with it yourself then you're not sure what questions to ask. You're not sure what's the red flags to look for, okay? So when it comes to your relationship, because this is the question that came to mind. Someone went in here and they asked, okay, so when I'm dealing with someone, how do I, and they say they're spiritual, what am, what am I supposed to do? How, how, do I, how do I know if they're genuine or if they're not genuine? And what I can tell you, and I know this for a fact because I've used this before I met my wife. When an individual says they're spiritual, then ask them about their relationships. Okay? Ask them about, you know, their, their past relationship. I know that's a taboo, but that's the ego. An individual who's spiritual has no, has no problem talking about that. Okay? Now, what's the reason for asking about the relationship? Well, if you ask them about their relationship, you'll hear a couple of things. If the individual goes to here and starts spouting out how this individual, the person they were with or the person they were involved with, they did this and they did this and they did X, Y, Z, okay? That's another red flag. Something you got to watch out for, okay? Because that means that really they're not taking accountability for any of the things in which they have done. Being spiritual has to deal with being accountable, being responsible, okay? So, if they go ahead, say you want to continue to entertain this question, you want to continue to entertain them, all right? So, you, you're going ahead and you're talking to them, they tell you and they spot all this information about what the other person did or what the, this other individual did. One of the other questions you can ask them, third question you can ask them is, okay, well, how do you feel that you contributed to your breakup? All right. Again, it's the way in which they respond that will let you know if they are spiritual or if they're really about that spiritual life or not. Because spirituality deals with accountability. Okay. Spirituality deals with transformation, growth, and change. So if they can't tell you anything. They can't tell you, hey, this is what we went ahead. This, I, this is something I learned or, or overcame or whatever the case may be or what I would do something different or whatever. If they can't explain any of that, most likely they're telling you, they're giving you buzzwords in regards to spirituality. Okay. They're not really, uh, they, they might aspire to be spiritual. Okay they might aspire to be about that life but they're not really about that life all right and finally finally if all else fails you know what i'm gonna say that's right use an oracle okay um I, I, I'll be very honest there was a, a young lady I remember I was going to school I was in college and there was a young lady I was you know was really vibing on you know I mean really vibing on okay um, plus she was from the continent all right so I, she she was really I was really vibing on her but did a reading and it was like sure enough reading was like yeah don't waste your time Okay, and it, I'm glad I did the reading because right after I did the reading, um, it was interesting. Some things unfolded, and sure enough, she was she was you know she wasn't the one. Okay, for lack of a better term, she just wasn't the one. All right, and uh, so that's pretty much the way in which I would go ahead and I would do it. I would approach it that way. Uh, like I said. Ask those questions because, you, again, when you're dealing with spirituality, you're trying to overcome your ego. You're trying to overcome your lower self. Um, you have a lot of these people going in here and they're claiming, oh, I'm spiritual. I'm being spiritual and everything. And then when you get them involved in something, um, you know, you, you get into a disagreement with them. They, they're, they're flying off the handle. 
okay they're not controlling they, they don't take accountability or they're not uh, taking control of their you know managing their, their behavior their actions or any of that but yet they're spiritual all right now here's the thing I also want you to understand though being spiritual does not mean an individual who is spiritual who is uh, in that it doesn't mean that they're perfect okay um, they're, they're not walking around perfect this is the issue that I have with you know let it let it be known that's the issue I have with Dr. Umar. It's not that you're going to hear and, you know, that I'm claiming or I'm trying to judge him or any of that. But, you know, in regards to him being perfect, because no, nobody, if, if we were perfect, we wouldn't be here. Okay, we wouldn't physically be here. Uh, that's the reason why we're here. We're trying to go in here and improve ourselves. It's the fact that if you're going in here and saying this is what I'm about, I'm about this. But then you go, you, 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 you contradict yourself. You know, you go out and you do the direct opposite. Oh, the women are queens and this and that and the other. But yet you don't have, you got two women and you ain't married to them. Okay. And, and, and but they're supposed to be queens. You know, that's, it's, it's a, it's the wrong kind of messaging, you know. And like I said, you can tell it's all about the ego. And when you look at it, fam, when, when you look at it, fam, look at it from that use those eyes okay use both of those eyes when you look at it from that from a holistic perspective you get to see okay this is just this is just an individual saying this okay and that's how we have to look at this and even then even then like I said before it sounds good every time and, and, and that's how anything that's basically that's ego driven that's usually how it is. It sounds great. It sounds fantastic. It sounds like it's on point. All right. That's the reason why that eye is blinded. That's the reason why we end up having problems, which is the reason why we need to use an oracle. Okay. If you're if you're not able to uh, intuit and listen to your ancestors or follow your higher self, you need to use an oracle before you go in here and get into a little bit deeper <laughs> you know I had to watch my words <laughs> but you know you, you want to go in here and you want to use an oracle all right so hopefully that makes sense hopefully that clears up some things um, again you got any comments questions or suggestions feel free to drop me a line until next time head to poo peace